Mike Diamond and welcome to the video Intermittent Fasting. First of all, I've missed you guys. I was caught up with school. We had the neurology rotation, which was so hectic, and you guys understood. I told you guys on Instagram at Mike Diamond 23 if you don't follow, that guys, I had to focus on that particular rotation to get work done, but I've been itching to make a video, and here we are Intermittent Fasting. This video is gonna be different. I mentioned intermittent fasting in almost all my full day of eatings, but I've never really dedicated an entire video to their topic. So I think this is going to be the reference to all my intermittent fasting in the future. And this video is going to be different from all the intermittent fastings because this has my experience. Let me explain. So in this particular video, I will be doing a mixture of the scientific and theoretical benefits of intermittent fasting mixed in with my experience. I don't have particular bias towards using intermittent fasting, so I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of intermittent fasting. And I think that this video will be extremely beneficial because this has helped me an immense amount. And I think it will help a lot of you guys out there. So like the previous video, you guys appreciated, smash the video with a thumbs up. I think if people use this as a reference for a lot of the intermittent fasting, they'll really know what it does to your body and how it is, how it can change your body. So smash the video with a thumbs up. I'll greatly appreciate it but let's kick it off with the video what is intermittent fasting it's an umbrella term for various amounts of diets that cycle between fasting and non-fasting periods basically it's a meal timing diet and these timings of these meals can induce certain metabolic processes in your body that can allow or help with calorie restriction and weight loss. Let me dive deeper. The reason that I've been gone is because I've been finishing the final touches on Project Diamonds V3, which is dropping in six days. And intermittent fasting, I've integrated that into the program and this is why. The benefits metabolically and hormonally is this, growth hormone which is one if not the most important fat burning hormone out there as well as being able to preserve the muscle is increased and insulin which is notorious for fat storage is decreased so that combination already of increase in growth hormone and decrease in insulin is already a benefit to why i introduce intermittent fasting when i'm dieting down or even when i'm bulking but i'm gonna go back to work and then I'll elaborate more on the whole topic. Yeah. Ah, we're just taking a break. So we're gonna go watch Black Panther, me and my roommate, for the first time. I'm so excited, Wakanda forever. <laughs> but let me quickly show you guys the outfit for today. The top. I'm wearing is the new Gymshark Fully Fast, which just came out, that has the minimal logo here. I think I showed you guys in the previous video, and I'm rocking some jeans, and I'm gonna rock a high top, but, fuck, I'm so excited to go watch Black Panther. <laughs> I'll call you back, I promise I'll call you back. Two minutes. you get that comes with intermittent fasting you get the 16-8 which is you fast for 16 hours in your day and you eat within an eight hour window period you get the one day off the alternative where you fast for an entire day and you eat in the next day and you also have the 5-2 regimen where you fast for two days and then you eat within the five days of the week the main idea is that you get your body in a fasted state where your insulin level is low and personally I believe the 16-8 regimen is the best so when you're sleeping your body's fasted your insulin level is low and when you wake up you fast for longer your body's gonna need a place to get for energy and that goes for your reserves and that's gonna target your body with no food in it and that's when you achieve this fat loss and you get the increase in the growth hormone Woo! it's cold but let me also talk more about the pros and then dive into the cons.
Okay, the number one con for me of intermittent fasting, when you start off, is it takes time for adaptation. It's very easy for you to stop eating in a certain period of time, or your mind feels like it's in a point of starvation. That hunger pan that you get, because you're so used to eating, so that's the number one con, and you can typically feel weak and tired. So that's the number one thing, the adaptation phase, which is a negative, and sometimes in the beginning it might see a decrease in energy. Let's go on to the next workout. Ready? disadvantage or con I see to intermittent fasting is depending on when you time your meals say if you're training fasted you will see a decrease in strength and when I get deeper into my cut I like to prolong my fasting period so that is a disadvantage you can get but say you fast and then you have your first meal before you train you can have a massive pump and the workout can actually be really beneficial but the strength is a decrease that will happen over time I'm not afraid to let go You decide if you're ever gonna let me know Yeah, suicide if you ever try to let go uh, I'm In terms of drugs for me Is that one, you have a wider variety of foods that you can eat Because you've postponed the time you can eat So you have a bigger window of calories you can play with and that allows you a wider range of variety of foods that you can have during that time two is that i don't have to stress about the foods that i need to eat during class i don't have to worry about different things when i'm in class and i'm not hungry in the morning and finally the thing that i prefer the most about intermittent fasting is that it's convenient for me it just fits in my lifestyle and i've seen the best results physically and mentally doing intermittent fasting but i'll wrap this up in my room intermittent fasting for me changed the way i diet in my two major transformations where i lose an insane amount of weight it would have been impossible without intermittent fasting for the simple fact that me as a person i love to eat and i believe that's the same case with a lot of you guys who find yourself overweight you love to eat so the concept of being able to save my calories for later gives me a smaller window of eating and it makes it actually more enjoyable for me. This allows me to have more discipline with my diet and that being said, it also allows me to see the results that I desire. And that's why I also see it, I do it in my bulk so I don't eat an insane amount of calories through the day and I minimize my fat gain. So for me, intermittent fasting on a bulk or on a cut is fantastic and some people if you just need to eat your meals if you can't go without eating then it's not for you but it does work for a lot of people and in the end of the day my experience as i i it's it's my secret weapon i wouldn't be able to do it without but guys i hope it was informative i hope that it was insightful um, i'd really appreciate if you guys left the video a huge thumbs up i think a lot of people benefit from the video with a mixture of experience and theory and science in it so leave it a thumbs up if you're new subscribe to the channel Watch the previous video if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. And comment down below what your experiences are with intermittent fasting. Peace.